Are you insane? Hang on. Slow down. You want grilled butter. That's melted butter. You understand that, right? Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more recipe for disaster starting old ribs. Apparently, we are once again taking over an old, run-down, beaten-up restaurant with questionable staff and a questionable menu. And I'm going to tell you right now, this one looks tough because one of the lose conditions is don't be in debt ever. Obviously, these people have never seen the channel. What's our win condition? Sell 10 dishes at 100 Euro, pounds, money, anyway, a hundred money or more, 50 popularity, that's uh, achievable, 12 tables at the same time. Don't be in debt ever. Okay, I'm totally going to lose this one. Well, I've cleaned up the trash and seen what I've got going on here. We've got three deep fryers. I don't know if I need three deep fryers right at this exact moment. Storage is already full. They've got a couple of bathrooms here. I don't actually hate the way they've decorated them. They've put a lot of plants in there. It seems excessive, but who am I to judge? A couple of tables. Let's start moving some stuff around here. Let's get that over there and that maybe not right by the kitchen door. How about that was over there? Now, logically, I'd probably expand into this area over here to expand the restaurant, but I think I can work with what I've got. I'm going to start inside with some furniture. Actually, why don't we get rid of these and do some nicer tables in here, and I'll get some money back for that too. How about fancy wooden table? Yeah, let's just really remodel this place a little bit. I'm gonna do three tables for now. And then, yeah, the common black chair, it's no boost to my prestige or the environment, but it gets the job done and they're relatively inexpensive. Okay, three tables, bunch of seats. Now what? I don't feel that I need three deep fryers right now, and that's some money coming back. I can't do sear, I can't do most of anything, I need more appliances, I need more everything around here. You know what? What if we did this a little differently? Let's get rid of both of the deep fryers, and instead get in one of the luxury deep fryers. That's not bad. How about we got... Let's start this restaurant off right. So let's get a deluxe grill over here. And then let's immediately get a fire extinguisher in there because that's that's going to happen. Let's put that guy right, say, I don't know, uh, spin this around a sec, right over here. And then I need way more storage. I need a deluxe stove. Well, I don't need the deluxe stove, but I'm going to get the deluxe stove. Why not start off with some, you know, nice reviews because our food is a little extra awesome. And then another fridge could live right here. Okay, how am I doing on money? I'm not in debt yet. Another dry storage would not go amiss. Let's put this, say... Yeah, apparently I can get that to live over by the window there. All right, fair enough. Now what? I've covered all my bases. I can do all the things that are on the menu. Speaking of which, what's on the menu? Golden ribs, which is ribs, bacon, and ground beef. Yeah, I'm in. I will absolutely buy that. Fry Charlie. Okay, that's chicken and pork loin. Mama's dish. Eh, okay, ground beef and clams, and house of ribs. No surprise, it's ribs, and an entire stick of butter. Okay, let's start to get some stuff ordered in here. And in terms of my staff here, okay, Jamal, you're really, you're really into fry. Good, okay, you hate oven. Your skills are not fantastic. And me, of course me. Okay, well, we're going to need to, uh... You're going to be back of house, and I'm going to be back of house. So I'm going to add a group. And thank you to the comments section for telling me that I could assign a group at all. I never saw that little tab there. So create a new group, back of house. We're all going to wear mulligan wear. All right, yes. So save that, please. So we are going to... Do we just move you? Yeah, we just move you down here. Okay, so back of house is me and Jamal. Now, I need to hire some front of house. No one is particularly good at being front of house. You're sickly. I don't want you. You're also sickly. George is an animal lover and a workaholic. Well, you're not going to be cooking anything. So I don't care if you don't like cooking meat. I'm going to hire you. And then Susan, you're unfriendly. All right, we're just having one 
one front of house. George, you're in charge of the entire front of the house right now. It's okay. It's going to be fine, George, because um, nobody wants to come here anyway. So, George, you're going to front of house, and then we can just kind of figure it out as we tick along. Okay. We've ordered some food. We've got the menu ready to go. We've got to watch our debt. I've got to keep the money up. We can't be sliding on that. I should put in maybe maybe just a quick prep table or something like that. Yeah, countertop, relatively inexpensive. So I'll put one of those down there. Kind of already thinking about a new, you know, put the fridge in, put the fridge in. We have a lot of stuff that needs to be refrigerated. That's not going to be a bad investment. Already thinking about another fire extinguisher. And let's just spend a little bit of money making the place look nice with some lights. Okay, I'm going to start with that. We're going to kind of see how things go. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of demands very, very early. No, it's okay, game. All of these things are ordered. And a couple of cleaning areas. George, you're in charge of the front. Enjoy that. And then let's create another one for the back of the house. When it starts getting filthy outside, I'll assign one to the... Um, the outside area, but for right now, this will be fine. Okay, all of that can go away. Now, Jamal, remind me again, you hate oven, but you're really good on fry. Okay, congratulations, this is yours, and you hate, hang on, hang on, J Jamal, just chill a sec. All right, Jamal, you can be on grill, and you can be on stove, because that's not oven. You know what? We're just going to combo this, man. We're, we're all going to do everything around here, so that... And that, and we get a little more specialized later. We'll try and figure it out, but I think this is going to be a little bit tough. Uh, George, you're obviously in charge of all the tables around here, so have all of those. Okay, does anyone actually want to eat here today? Well, first customers are here, and we're off. We've got some ingredients that have just been ordered. We're all working very, very hard, me and Jamal back here. I did exceptionally well. Which is, which is great. And now I'm hiding behind the fridge, which is less good. We're making a bunch of things. Jamal did well. Okay, so far so good on the very, very first one. Uh, we're running low on butter. Okay, just get a couple more butter things in here. All right, any, any complaints yet? There's two tables seated. Any complaints right now? No, so far so good. Excellent. Ah, no surprise. We've already got a new request. Fried pork belly. Okay. Yeah, we we can do that. Hang on, let me uh let me go to my recipe editor here. Um, where where is no the uh the thing? Yeah, there we go. Fried pork belly. Let's edit this a little bit. Yeah, it's just a pork belly. I think we can do a little bit better than that. How about we threw beans? Want beans in that? No. How about some onions? We deep fry some onions with that. I know we don't. I don't think we actually have. No, we do have some onions on hand. Okay, that's cool. And then how about, you know what, let's get you some fries with that. Everybody loves to have some fries. So you can have some potato fries uh, with that, and we'll deep fry those. Put this guy over here, and then bring that over there. All right, so you get some fries, a little bit of crispy deep fried onion with that. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, we're having that. Let's save that. And then obviously I'm going to have to go order some fries for that. And another new request. What do you want? Grilled butter. Are you insane? Hang on. Slow down. You want grilled butter. That's melted butter. You understand that, right? That's just liquid butter. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Cost us 50 to make it. 175. Let's, um, I gotta give you something else with this. It's, it's just melted butter. Grilled butter is just melted butter. Okay, okay, okay. If you're gonna have melted butter, have some corn. That's gonna go great with that. How about we did some grilled corn? Okay, and you could put your melted butter on it. There, you see how this is gonna work now? See how this is gonna work? What else would go good with that? Uh, fries, obviously, that goes good with everything. How about a potato? And we'll, we'll prep it? No, we'll sear it. No, that's no, none of that is right. No, take 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 the um take the potato out. We're not doing that. How about we gave you something with an actual actual meat in it? We're already doing pork belly. How about you had that and we'll sear that pork belly. And then you can have all of that. That sounds pretty good. Let's save that. 
Now, what are we uh, what are we charging for that? Eight seventy five? No, I think we can do a little bit better than that. How about that's fourteen seventy five? See how that flies. Yeah, I already got to get a dedicated cleaner. This place is already a pit. It's already bad. What's going on here? Uh, George was rude, but he was fast. He was rude, but the place looks amazing. Okay, that's all fine. Uh, grilled beef sirloin. Okay, um, Carl, Carl, we, we can't we can't have everything on the men menu, Carl. Uh, we'll we'll see what we can do with your thing here. And we're just gonna grill some beef sirloin. Let's just throw some spices on this. How about? some chili powder, and Mediterranean seasoning. I have no idea if any of those go together, but but that's what you're getting, man. Ooh, George got a level up, though. I like that. Oh, we're on fire. Yeah, we're on fire. This this is not news. This is Tuesday in Recipe for Disaster. Uh, you're going to be a popular kid, George. You're going to have more people coming in. I think I'm going to put up a couple more tables tomorrow. You know, once the place um stops burning to the ground. Oh, the fire's spreading. Yeah, the fire's spreading. We should, um, we should put the fire out, guys. We should, um, I've reached a breaking point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break down any moment. Um, if, if we could, if we could get the fire out first. Fire out, no, the fire's spreading, guys. The fire's spreading right now. Can I, um, can I put up another fire extinguisher sort of immediately? Maybe, uh, right, right here? How about another one of those, kids? Okay, um, fire, fire spreading. Could you, um... Could you put down the food, me, and you use the... No, I've reached a breaking point. Okay, um, place is gonna burn to the ground, guys. Oh, George is in here. Okay, George has got the right idea. I'm freaking out, but George is in control of everything. Just coming in, put putting the put putting the fire out. Oh, it's it's gone bad. No, guys, there there's still fire. Guys, there's there's still fire. F fire is still happening. Could we stop having mental breakdowns and go put out, maybe put out the fire? George, it's not, it's not a good time for a break right now. It, it's not, it's not a great time for a break. Right, well, the fire has, um, has actually been put out, but we've, we've basically broken everything. Um, I, I don't seem to ever be able to put down this piece of food. Uh, George, you're gonna have to, no, you can't do anything. Uh, nobody... Nobody can do anything at all because everyone's having a breakdown. This is done. The deluxe stove is is done now. So um glad glad I glad I spent the money on that. Okay, um let's go ahead and, and delete that. No, delete it. D delete make make it go away. I know it's too damaged. I'd like to get rid of it. All right, this is going to be a massive hit to our rep, but I've got to close the place. It's it's just we're holding food because we can't finish cooking it because everything is destroyed. It's just I know you were thrown out. I know everything's terrible. Everything's awful. Everyone's having a bad day. Uh, it just we we can't finish cooking the food that we had because the place burned to the ground. And unfortunately, not any really good applicants in the hiring pool right now. David and Philippa, very, very meh. David, how would you like to be a completely dedicated cleaner at all times? You're going to go, I'm going to call you front of the house, but really you're going to go everywhere. Okay, I have replaced the deluxe stove. And hopefully we can get in here and clean everything. Or more to the point, David is going to clean everything. I'm going to risk another table. Ugh, really tight on that money. Very, very tight on that money. I don't want to see that dipping down any more than that. Let's go with the black chairs here, here, and here. Okay, uh, let's tentatively open the place up. I don't know why you people think you're just standing around here. Everybody clean something. Yes, get all into cleaning. All into cleaning. Yes, even this. Okay, uh, let's make sure we assign this. There we go. Everybody clean literally everything. David's in charge of both of the cleaning areas here. Uh, George, I noticed you're not cleaning anything. Well, you're going to go deal with that customer. Um, why don't we just go clean all the things? Clean everything, please. Oh, what do you want? What What's your problem here? Um, me. Pick me. I don't care. Uh, go. No, somebody go. Somebody go talk to this guy, please. Yeah, go talk to him when you're done cleaning that table. Uh, five years of experience. Okay, but I don't know what you do. 
I'm going to take a chance on hiring you. Wages are not really the... Hang on, hold on there, Chief. Hold the heck on there. Charles, you're good at stove. Okay. Yeah, we could, uh, we could get down with some of that. Yeah, why don't you be in charge of this? Uh, you hate serving, that's fine. All right, so I got a really good back of house crew right now. Not much in the front of the house. In fact, you can just basically be in... You, there's nothing back here that you hate. So let's just get you doing everything. You're actually very, very good. Let me uh, fidget with some people here. So you, Charles, you're going to go into the back of the house. Yeah, okay. And then, uh, David, I noticed you... Oh, you are wearing mulligan wear. But you're not on the sales floor. Why is that, man? Oh, good! There's another fire! Yay! Fire! It's just not a day in recipe for disaster unless something is on fire. Well, at least with those two fire extinguishers, uh, we should get this one... Could, could you just get the fire out, guys? It's still... There we go. Oh, it's spread. It's spread. Good. Okay. Okay, good. Are we, are we in control of the fire? Are we, are we broadly in control of the fire? We're going to clean that up. Okay, back to work, people. Back to work. Uh, George is having a bit of a freak out. Anyone who wants to work front of house? Philippa? No, you're, you're kind of... It's not that you're terrible. It's just that you're not very good, which is kind of the epitome of terrible. Oh, good. There's another fire. Yay. Okay, um, recipe for disaster. I really enjoy this game. You got to tone down the fire. Okay, you got to tone down the fire. Another thing is on fire. Yeah, it's just... um, It's constant fire, and that's... That's becoming less fun than one might think it is. I get it. Oh, yes, they have low skills, so they set things on fire. No, no, I get that. Uh, we got we to back this off a little bit. We got to tone the fire down in Recipe for Disaster, because it's basically, in a very real and literal sense, putting out fires all day. Less so about the restaurant thing, more about the fire. We're all on the floor, crying in tears. I, I'm not surprised. It's because the restaurant keeps keeps burning. Uh, how are we doing in the front of the house? Oh god, the place is an awful pit. Um, which one of my three people who's curled on the floor crying is in charge of David? There you are. Um, when you do kind of pull yourself together, man, if you could literally clean everything, that'd be fantastic. Are you are you coming back to work? You coming back to work, man? Okay, you're gonna clean that. That That's cool. That's nice. Oh, and my server just quit. Okay, um, right. Right, need new server, basically, immediately. Philippa, you're hired. Um, you, uh, you're in charge of everything now. You're in charge of everything. Uh, Philippa, yep, if you could, um, do all, all the things. Oh, what a surprise. There's another fire. Once again, we've set the prep table on fire, which has absolutely nothing flammable on it. But we've managed to set the prep table on fire. I'm rather shocked that most of these people haven't walked out at this point because um nobody is helping them really no nobody is helping them okay we're um we're getting some things done sort of vaguely we're kind of uh kind of getting towards the end of the day and maybe if there wasn't how about okay how about team team how about we ended the day by not having a fire Okay, we're going to try to get to the end of the day. I don't even care who you are. Go away. Okay, you've been waiting tables since you were 12. Uh, you're hired. You're actually hired. Um, yeah, who, who, where'd you go? Where'd you go? No, I, I, I thought I just hired you. I may have misclicked that. Uh, Philippa was rude. Yeah, she's new. Well, coming, uh, coming to the end of a, um, less flammable day so far. Uh, right, uh, David, you've got to level up. Adds a random loved action. Sure. What you get? Cleaning! Fantastic, David! That's exactly what I needed you to love! And Jamal got a level up. Oh, plus one to fry. Yeah, no, absolutely. You like that anyway. You're wicked good at fry now. Uh, David Porter quit. Great. Um, so, you know, you leveled up and, and then you quit. I, I didn't even have time to adjust your wages, David. I was going to give you a raise. And you've left. Okie dokie. Well, this was this was a fun day at the restaurant. Okay, Anthony, I'm hiring you for the front of the house. Julia, I'm gonna hire you. You're a kleptomaniac. You'll steal ingredients. That's no good. Uh, you're inspiring and sickly. Okay, Julia, you know what? Every restaurant worker takes a couple of things every now and then. It's just the nature of the industry. Uh, you're hired. You're gonna be my new cleaner. Okay, so, um, right. Teams. Teams. Philippa, you are going to go into front of house and come here. Julia, you're also going into front of house. And then Anthony, 
you are... What am I going to do with you? You're a little bit of everything. Maybe you can just sort of roam around, do whatever you feel. No, I'm going to put you into... Back of house. And I'm going to risk another table and some more lights around here. At bare minimum, I can at least make the place look good. How about a table vase for you and you? And then maybe there's just a generic vase that lives over here. And you know what? A couple of napkin holders because everyone likes to dab their mouth with rough pieces of paper. Okay, um, everybody, everybody open up. All right, everybody open up. I want to redo some things around here. I'm going to take a little bit of a chance here and add the deluxe stove and... Oh, it's a lot of money. Another deluxe fryer. It's not... It's a lot of money to spend. But Anthony, you're going to be in charge of that because you are okay at fry and you really love stove. So get into that. Here's the goal, team. One day without a fire. One day without a fire. This is what I'm asking for. One solitary day where we don't burn the place to the ground. This is what this is our goal. It's a small goal, guys. It's a very small goal. I can get through every, well, almost every one of my real life days without setting something on fire. Let's see if we can do it here. I'm going to give Jamal a bit of a raise. Does he deserve it? Eh, not really, but he can't quit, apparently. Uh, you're being paid fairly. Uh, I'm not being paid at all, of course. Julia, how are you doing? Yeah, you are also being paired, paid, paid fairly, as is Philippa. Okay, no fires. This is our goal, guys. No fires. Four o'clock in the afternoon, no fires yet. Well, I'm having a bit of a mental breakdown because apparently there weren't enough onions. Uh, apparently I get really, really sad if we don't have enough ingredients, um, which is odd because they get delivered like every hour. Uh, who got a level up there? Oh, Julia. Julia, okay. Why don't you... Yeah, why don't you not hate anything? That seems fine. Nobody likes it. You're paid less than you deserve. Okay, we can fuss with that, Julia. Come here. Come here. Uh, 214, you'd like to have 243. How about 264? Julia, 264. And Felipe got a level up. Why don't you not hate anything either? I think that's very, very sensible. And then I'm sure you probably want to get paid more. Um, yeah, we can tuck that up a little bit. 242. There you go. 242. Everybody happy with their level of compensation. Okay, we're almost at the end of the day. Nothing has burned down yet. We managed it. An entire day without a fire. Team, I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. If you just concentrated really hard on not setting fire to things, I knew you could do it. I was going to take a sec. I've got a little bit of money. Not as much as I might like, but I've got a little bit of money. I'd like to get an extra bathroom in here. So let's just move some stuff around. In fact, this vase could live out here. I'm going to put this toilet over here and then build a wall up here and make a third bathroom. This is my idea. And this one can even get a sink. Oh, rapturous day. Okay, back uh, back to work, everyone. Again, fire, fire-free day. That's what we're looking for here. Fire-free day. We're ready to go. We're trying to be as non-flammable as we can be around the old restaurant. Uh, let's go get rid of all of that. Let's just try to get through the day. I'd love to open up another plot of land. Oh, P.S. It's long overdue that I set up a cleaning area out here. Yeah, let's let's get that done. We're going to need something along those lines. So a new cleaning area can be like this. And then expand that to cover all of this. I don't know how much the customers get fussy if the outside is dirty. But just in case... Let's have the two front of house people dealing with that. Well, Felipe's already got a level up today. Chatterbox taking a break with our employees will make them happier. Ooh, yeah, let's have you be more tolerant of stress because um, there's going to be a lot of that around here. We're going to have a lot of stress. We've got some ingredients that just came in. There's a school bus. A little early in the day for a school bus. What is it, a half day? Oh, uh, guys, we tried to get through with a fire-free day. Remember we had a meeting this morning? 
about having a fire-free day, it's less fire-free than I might ideally like it to be. Okay, things are... things are burning down again. If we could, um... If we could go ahead and put out that fire, that would be great. I'm... I'm already broken down on the floor. I'm crying about all of this. Oh, there's another fire. Okay, so... We made up for our fire-free day yesterday by having many, many fires today. I see where you're going with that. Yes, you're making up for lost fire here in, um, here in Recipe for Disaster. Oh, good. There's more fire. Yay. Okay, um, okay. Everything's on fire. Yep, and nobody can deal with anything because everyone's having a mental breakdown. Um, I can't, I can't even click through these fast enough before they come right, right back. Uh, we have no appliances. That's fun. That's fun. Um, no, none of these people are going to get served at all. Oh, well, we're on fire again. How did we manage to catch things on fire that are literally not usable? How, how did you manage that? That is a level of flammability that I cannot even address. How did you catch things on fire that... Yeah, I know they left. We can't make any food. I'm gonna have to rebuy everything here. Okay, I got the fundamentals back up and running. I can't really afford to give them all the really, really nice ones, but I've got the basics going on here. At least we can try and get these people fed who are still in the restaurant. Okay, can we... Oh, somebody leveled up. Super. Can we try to get through at least the rest of the evening without a fire? Julia, uh, appliances catching fire. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you're not going to be near any appliances uh, or indeed cooking. How about second wind? You can have shorter breaks. Jamal, I don't suppose you've got anything to do with fire, do you? No. Uh, you can remove a hated action, though. Yeah, now you don't hate being on oven. All right, we're all taking a break. Customer groups have left. Customer groups have left. Uh, we did, um, we did get through the bulk of the evening without a fire. Let's see if we can keep that trend going. How about two o'clock into the next day and nothing's been on fire yet? Nobody's more surprised than me. Calming presence. That might be good. Yeah, why don't you be more calming around people? People are just sort of chilled out when you're around. I like the idea of that. We're all taking a bit of a break. Nobody's coming to the restaurant because we're only 10% popular because everything keeps catching on fire. I, I totally understand that. If I were visiting a restaurant and it was on fire, I, I probably wouldn't go there again. Not, not quickly anyway, not until I saw some more reviews on the place and those reviews specifically said, place burns down much less than it used to. Oh good, you're outside cleaning. Good, I like that. Well, I'm gonna take a teensy bit of a risk and add another deluxe fryer around here. Uh, maybe somewhere where hopefully at least fire won't spread. I don't know. Uh, Jamal, you are... Come here, Jamal. 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 Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're exceptionally good at fryer. Uh, why don't you go be in charge of that, please? Well, everyone's having a bit of a nervous breakdown, but lots of people are leveling up. Ooh, I'm gonna do calming presence. We really need that in the back of the house. Uh, you could have lower stress during breaks, and Philippa, bounce back calming presence again. Uh, let's add a loved action grill. Poor choice, Philippa. Oh, the place is on fire again. Yay! Oh, and the other deep fryer is on fire as well. Cool. We're enjoying that. That's fun. We're all we're all having. Literally, everyone is having a nervous breakdown except Jamal. He's trying to put the fire out. Oh, Julia, you got a little bit of a level up. You know what we really need here? More calming presence. Boy, do we need some calming presence around the rib place here. All of these people are gonna leave. Nope, the entire restaurant is on fire now. The entire kitchen is on fire now. Um, I'm gonna call it a day. That's it. Yep, that that is, um, that is gonna do it on Recipe for Disaster. I really, really enjoy this game. I really do. Um, we've got to back off the fire thing. It, it's it's got to get balanced for me to enjoy playing this more because it's every day and it's the whole kitchen is on fire. And that's, first of all, it's not even realistic. I, I worked in a restaurant for many years. Uh, at no point did we set anything on fire. Not once, not a single fire. This is a little too much. I'd like to see a little bit of balance to this where, you know, maybe we can get through a single day without the entire restaurant catching on fire, because it's not, this is not as fun as some might think it is. Um, you know, a fire every once in a while. Great, good, that's that's fun and it's challenging and it's exciting. 
Um, many fires every single day is not not fun for me. Anyway, it's not fun for me. Uh, so I'm going to call it a day on Recipe for Disaster. I'd really love to revisit this. I'd like to see sandbox mode, and I'd like to see less fire, because this is exactly the sort of game that I love, but it's frustrating me with this, this nonsense in here, where everything is on fire, we're all breaking down. That's not the fun part of a restaurant building game to me. Uh, maybe it is for other people. I don't know. This might be the perfect game for you. Maybe you love fighting fires in a kitchen and having everyone break down. If you do, cool. That's awesome. I can like a game. You can dislike a game. And we're both right and vice versa. But I think, guys, I have got to call it a day on Recipe for Disaster. I just can't see pushing through the rest of this level with constant, constant fires. So I do hope you enjoyed it. I apologize for a rather dramatic ending to it. Uh, what with the back of the house being completely on fire, but I think this has just crossed over my frustration point, uh, where something is frustrating and not fun. I like a bit of balance, a little bit of frustration, a little bit of fun, nice. All frustration, not so much. So guys, do please let me know what you think. Are you in love with the fire? Is this your ideal game where the kitchen is on fire all the time? Let me know. Uh, maybe you agree with me. Let me know that too. But I would love to come back to Recipe for Disaster at some point with some sandbox mode and less fire. I would jump right back into this. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. If you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. We'll see you next time. I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. Pablo here is looking for a little, um, little, uh, little favor, a little financial favor from El Devo Magnifico. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. You can't just get a puffer fish on the open market. Like, I can't go down to the grocery store and order me up a slice of puffer fish. So I can only assume, I can only assume that it somehow there's some sort of underground puffer fish market that you would acquire one of these from. So I'm immediately, here's where I, here's where my brain goes. Here, here's, here's what happens, Pench. I immediately am seeing your friend in a shadowy black trench coat and a fedora in a dark dock somewhere, like way down in London Docklands, hastily trading crumpled British pound notes for a dead puffer fish, and then taking it home, slicing its ears off because apparently it's deaf, putting a hat on it, putting some googly eyes on it, and popping it in the mail to you.